These cute little succulent species are called Peperomia dulibriformis, which dulibriformis actually means axe-shaped as it's referring to the leaves. But I want you to pay attention more to these three right here and not to these two because these are a different plant that I'll get to later. But they, you could tell they already have a lot of similar growth structure. And these are actually native to the Peruvian Andes. And when we think of succulents, we often think of like desert dwelling species, but that's not always the case. Like succulency in plants could actually stem from so many different reasons, um, but mainly it's because of lack of water and lack of water doesn't necessarily always mean growing in the desert. In many of these cases, these plants are growing in like rockier terrain or epiphytically on trees or in um, underneath forests and it's not always getting a tremendous amount of water, but also can be exposed to sunlight. And that sunlight could actually be damaging to some of these plants. And what's interesting about these particular leaves is that they look like little tacos to me and they have this thin line of epidermis right at the top, which actually has these crystals that when the light comes in, it helps refract the light and help reduce the amount of light that's hitting in the leaf so it could protect its chlorophyll, which is like super cool. You often see that in other plants like lithops or maybe even haworthia, but not necessarily super common in uh, peperomia, although the peperomia of the Andes definitely has this. Uh, so what's interesting is when we think about succulents, we think, oh, well, let's put it in really hot light or a lot of intense light in like a southwest facing window. But that's not the case for these plants. You actually want to pull them away from that light. They'll do much better in kind of bright light diffuse conditions to even like higher end of moderate light. So these I have growing approximately uh, three to four feet away from my southwest facing window underneath a shelf. So it's not getting any kind of direct light. I have been growing this plant also, however, in my direct southwest facing window, and those don't seem to be doing as well as the ones that are in a more diffuse light. So that just goes to show you that giving it too much light could actually harm the plant. Also, I've been growing this particular plant for quite some time, not these particular plants, but um, Peperomia dulibriformis in different parts of my house for probably four or five years. And what's interesting about it is they actually get woody, which is unusual for a succulent plant. It starts to get like a little bit more of a woodier stem. And these could actually withstand being uh, dried out. So there's been some studies where they've actually not watered these plants for 70 days, and I totally wouldn't recommend that, but that just goes to show you that these plants are highly resilient and don't need a tremendous amount of watering. So I would say give it a much more well-draining soil. In this case, I have something that has some peat in it, but also a little bit more pumice and a little bit more of lava stones just to provide a little bit more well-draining soil because again, these stems and these leaves are quite succulent, so you don't need a tremendous amount of water. As far as humidity goes, they may appreciate some humidity, but they don't need it. So even if you go low to moderate humidity, these plants won't complain at all. And as far as propagation goes, I've actually never propagated these, but I do think that if you take a leaf cutting, you should be able to propagate these plants no problem. And um, as far as pest pressures go, never had a problem with these. I do think in my southwest facing window, I have found a little bit of spider mites, but that might be because the plant is undergoing a little bit more stress within that sun. So if you just pull it away from the light, then you're probably going to be better off with these particular diminutive species of peperomia.